Legendary singer Whitney Houston, known for hit songs like I Will Always Love You and So Emotional, is argued by many to be the greatest of all time. Now Houston is being featured as part of a new ABC News special, Superstar, examining people who had a huge role in shaping American culture. Here's an exclusive sneak peek of tonight's premiere episode. Check it out. She did not want to be a big star. And I used to tease her and tell her, God didn't give you this gift to keep to yourself. <laughs> you hear every genre in Whitney's songs because it's her voice. It's not just the songs like, because she could do a pop song, but she put so much soul and, and gospel into um, a, a pop song. When I heard the song, How Will I Know, it was a great hook. And I went to the piano and just banged out the verse of How Will I Know. And I also then I got on the phone and called Whitney. I wanted to, can you sing that high? She goes, yeah, I can do that. I'm in the control room, she's in the studio. Just out of the box, first go round. No warm up, no nothing, just pow. I was like, damn, now I'm seeing what all this hubbub is about. Why I have to produce, why Jerry's making me stop doing Aretha Franklin to do you. <laughs> Those songs were as big on the R&B charts as they were on the pop charts. And worldwide. She kicked down doors for every black female artist, every black artist, and artist in general. Whitney Houston is a, it, it, it's an instrument. That's a energy letting out something that we don't know what it is. That's why we call it singing and we call it Whitney Houston and we call it that. But we don't know what that is. She made it possible for us to believe that we could do the same thing. And let's bring in ABC News contributor Larry Hackett for more on tonight's episode, Superstar Whitney Houston. Larry, thanks for being here. I know tonight's special is going to include some interviews with people who knew Whitney Houston, people like Brandy, Shaka Khan, Darlene Love. What can we expect to hear from them? How influential she was on their lives, how what she did, both as a performer, the songs that she chose, the fame that she reached, and I'm afraid um, the tragedy that then followed her. I mean, I don't think you can overstate how, what a, what a rocket she was in the culture. When you think about all the songs she did, you think about the bodyguard, you think about the, the, the Star Spangled Banner that she sang uh, at the game. She was absolutely ubiquitous. She was wonderful. She was beautiful. She was one of the superstars in the early eras of music videos. That's really how she got over, right? She was just so, if I can use a word that probably sounds like an old man's word, adorable and wonderful, intelligent. That's what it was all about. And she was, in the kind of classic phrase of pop stardom, she was crossover, right? She wasn't just R&B and gospel, though, of course, that was her roots, deep, deep roots in that world. Um, but she became a crossover star and became a superstar. Alas, the last 10 or 15 years of her life were unbelievably tragic. And that tragedy was, you know, sealed with that horrible night at the Beverly Hilton in uh, February of 2012. And Larry, I know that you were actually there at the Beverly Hilton that night. It happened right before the 2012 Grammy Awards. What do you remember? Well, it was surreal. It's really the only way to explain it. I was the editor of People Magazine at the time, going to Clive Davis's uh, annual party, which is on the eve of the Grammy Awards. We used to have a big photo shoot there with a lot of the stars who would be performing. And as we arrived, moments after we arrived, the rumors started to fly through the lobby uh, that Whitney had died upstairs. And people were arriving. People didn't know what to do. There was a period of time there where we didn't know if the party was going to go on. Our photo shoot was obviously canceled. Um, but the party did go on. It was terribly awkward, terribly sad, totally surreal. Clive Davis, who, of course, is you know credited with having sort of found Whitney and making her popular, uh, had the party, spoke at the party. Tony Bennett, I recall vividly, was a performer, and he spoke with tremendous anger about what had happened. You know, there had been Amy Winehouse and all the people that he had talked about who had recently passed away, and he was just spitting with rage over what a terrible loss it was. And everyone felt the exact same way. Now, it's been nearly a decade now since that night that Whitney Houston passed away, and her songs are still played everywhere. I think almost any female singer out there is practicing and practicing, trying to sound anything like Whitney Houston. She was that amazing. So how do you think she impacted and continues to impact the music industry? Well, as if you look at the pop charts today, you can see that. You can see it in all the different singers who are out there, whether they're young or old, black or white. I mean, her voice is so endemic. And let me just add that as someone who sings in the shower, men are trying to sing her songs too, to, you know, failing all the time. Um, 
you know, she's heard on the radio, she's heard on streaming services. Her songs are timeless and they're wonderful. She has an incredible singular um, advantage that the second she sings, you know it's her, right? You can't, you're not mixing her up with somebody else. There's no auto tuning here and you're not quite sure which, you know, new superstar this is. This is Whitney Houston. The songs endure. I'm afraid also that the tragedy will endure, but I think the songs endure and there are moments, you know, as you listen to those songs where you don't think about what could have been, you think about what was, and that's wonderful. Sure was, and she sure was. ABC News contributor Larry Hackett. We appreciate it, Larry, thank you. You bet. And superstar Whitney Houston premieres tonight at 10 Eastern, 9 Central on ABC, and will start streaming tomorrow on Hulu. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.